Um, my name is Maria Tivnan. I'm the artistic director of Galway-based company Fregoli Theatre. My name is Jarlis Tivnan and I'm writing a play for Fregoli at the moment. Hi, my name is Emer Finan and I work with Fregoli Theatre Company as an actor but also uh, in uh, PR marketing and uh, with a main focus on social media. Hi, my name is Kate and I'm a member of Fregoli Theatre Company. My name is Alicia McCarthy and I'm a member of Fregoli Theatre Company. Hi, my name is Peter Shine and I am just one of the actors who is uh, involved with Fregoli Theatre Company at the moment as part of their Roscommon Art Centre residency, uh, the title of which is Finding Home. Uh, Fregoli started in 2007. So we're in our 13th year, which is kind of hard to believe. Um, and I like the number 13, but <laughs> hopefully this year will turn good. Um, we started basically after, through, out of Dramsock in, in um, NUIG, and we had done, uh, a few of us had done Disco Pigs, End of Walsh, and we got on really well at the Irish Student Drama Awards. And a judge just said to us, why aren't you doing this for real? <laughs> you know, for real. And we thought, yeah, yeah, let, let's do it. And it went from there um, we our first play as for goalie was bedbound uh, which we did in the cellar bar uh, in Galway um, in the summer of 2007 and our latest work was the Fregoli Heart Project which was performed with Corch, the Corch International Festival of Literature in Nuns Island Theatre uh, last April so there's been we've had 26 productions in the in those 12 years and it's been amazing really. Leopold Fregoli was the world, uh, is, is from is an old Italian actor from like the 15th century and he's he was the world's most famous impersonator um, and it's also the name of a disorder called Fregoli delusion where you think everybody in the room is the one person playing many parts. So that idea of character changing and actors playing many parts was something we, we did a lot at the start and, and, and elements of that style is still seen in, seen in, in our work. The latter half of, of our journey has really been focused on original work and new writing and new writers and celebrating that. And so Pleasure Ground would have been probably a, a big one for us, a breakthrough. We got we won the Michael Diskin um, Award from the Town Hall here, which was really lovely, a uh, really lovely one to get and the Town Hall have always been quite support, uh, very supportive of us and it's, it's a place we, um, we, we would have worked a lot. And that tour went on a, a small tour and uh, that was our first big stage show where we had a, a, a budget, small but a budget. And I'm, I'm very lucky actually to think that this journey is still ongoing and we're still uh, exploring and doing work. And I suppose what we came together as, as a company to do what I, I assume all theatre companies do, to tell a story and um, but not necessarily a narrative. So to communicate something um, but also to th that it, we're creating a dialogue with the audience. It's not just about us doing our thing, but what we learn when we put this story we've worked on in front of people, and we we feed off that and 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 each other, of course. And I guess this is this is what we're all missing now um, during the during this health crisis is is that ability that to share space with each other. So this year, we, uh, Fregoli was awarded uh, the Theatre Company in Residence for Roscommon Art Centre. I'm from County Roscommon and Jarlett, who is my cousin, who's also in the, in the company, um, is from Roscommon and Peter as well is from Roscommon. So we've got a lot of uh, Roscommon blood uh, in, in the company. To get the residency meant a lot to, to me and to us because it, it's, like, it's like life in general. Just, um, you need to feel valued. We all, everyone needs to feel valued and, and your work needs to feel valued. And we're working a long time um, without a lot of resources. And to be granted a space um, really adds to the value. And you feel like uh, we, we've got this space to work in. We can come and go. People, you know, we've been supported by this organization. We, we have a home as such. And uh, we called our residency Finding Home because home is something that 
you know we're all really interested in and home can mean so many things and it's it's like theater in itself it's abstract and it's contract uh, co- uh, concrete and it's physical and it's and it's not and it's mental and it's social and and everything else and you can go to home in your head or what does it mean to feel at home all those kinds of things so this is what we were going to explore in in Roscommon and we had just started so as part of our residency with the Roscommon Arts Centre I was afforded a beautiful spacious room in the centre itself for three weeks before the pandemic and that time and space was amazing for me because it might sound weird to people not involved in theatre but time and space are often very rare commodities because of a lack of resources, be it financial or physical space itself. So that time and space was amazing to create a foundation for this play. Social media has become vital to us, um, like all businesses, as a way of connecting uh, with our audience and letting them know that we're still here. So um, when the restrictions first came into place, uh, we first met on Zoom as a team and we reconnected and restructured a plan. Um, we were just beginning a residency with the Roscommon Arts Centre and we started to structure a plan as how to continue that work from our homes and get it to our audiences. Now it's we're, it's like everybody else trying to figure out how, how do we cope with this, how do we cope with the changing rules and regulations and situations and um, keep, try to maintain um, our art and, and our work and and I guess look to a medium that we're that we didn't choose it's, it, it simply started we meet every Monday on zoom which is a word I never heard of <laughs> two months ago and we we read bits of established scripts and we started you know just just to get the the the, the, the muscles and, and the and the, the drama brain the theater brains and to be together and I suppose through through the first initial meetings a, a work started to happen naturally we talked about what we could and couldn't do and then we talked about the space of zoom and, and the boxes and how do we make uh, how do we connect through this and how can we tell our stories and work on uh, our ideas about home through this medium for now you know and, and I guess that's what we're we're trying to keep in our heads that this is for now we're, we're eager and enthusiastic and, and really happy that we, we can do that and it's a choice you know we're, we're choosing to, to try this out and um, we're really really cannot wait to get back to into a rehearsal room together and back into that space. The next step will be to engage with a project and uh, or projects and um, get them to our audience. Uh, So we have four on the go, um, three of which will be produced online, two very likely to be on Facebook Live and on the third one we're looking at options for um, a possible invited event um, for that piece. Uh, We're also going to be releasing um, what we call tangents over YouTube over the next coming weeks, which is a sneak peek into our rehearsal process, into those um, Zoom meetings that are a bit like an artistic workout as well, because we read and we rehearse and we find new ways to um, just connect with the work the same way we want to connect with the audiences. We, we, we talked about, right before uh, all of this happened, the idea of home as being a sanctuary or a prison, a safe or an unsafe place. So uh, Tara, who's in the company, was working on that idea anyway. So we have another piece coming out, um, which will be, I, I suppose I keep using the word piece because I'm not quite sure. I, 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 I'm, I'm reluctant to say play, Every, it, it is a performance, but it, it some will be live elements and some will be recorded. So that's, that's why I'm, I'm using piece. Um, that's called Inside You Stay. And then we are looking at just stuff that goes on in the rehearsal room when we're there, the, the tangents, the things that happen, the daft stuff, and, and we'll look to put some of that out as well, just so that uh, people can know us. And I guess that was part of the residency in Roscommon, getting to know ourselves and our audience getting to know us better. We had five days in Roscommon in July, and we, we had a great time, and we put on a work in progress, and mad stuff came into our heads. We walked around the town, and we were like kids, you know, really excited to, to, to have a place and, and, and to really take it in. Um, and, and yeah, we, we're, we're, we're adapting. Maybe from those circumstances and from those limitations, we'll find a way to create even more relevant work, um, lasting work, you know, that will kind of carry on beyond what's going on right now. And um, yeah, my other hope, I suppose, is that um, the idea of something live is 
is something we get to experience again, something that I hope doesn't fall by the wayside, you know, um, the idea of live performance, the idea of having a live audience as well, um, just, yeah, I hope that these are things we get to experience again because uh, it's what makes theatre theatre and it's, uh, yeah, it's important to me that that part of the Irish art scene doesn't just fall by the wayside, so I hope that's something we all get to experience again. Um, so like everybody else, we're longing for that day to get back to a packed theatre, uh, elbow to elbow, live audience, all that. Um, but until then, social media has been really a brilliant way to still produce and engage and connect. When we emerge from all this, that the uh, ideas and the uh, creativity and connection that's been happening through these times um, would just spill out and back into the places we've lost. All of the theatres and art centres and streets and museums, all of those places would be bursting and bubbling with um, people and ideas. I really hope that we can all remember how many of us have turned to the arts during this time of crisis um, in search of hope, in search of a feeling of coming together, in search of connection and community, and, and how the arts has been there and has provided that. I really hope that artists and theatre makers can continue to embrace and acknowledge the power of solidarity and in engaging with their community of colleagues as we move forward. I also really hope that local communities um, continue to behave in this amazing way that we've seen for the last number of weeks and over the course of this whole crisis and that that sense of community continues and maybe starts to see a little bit more of local communities um, encouraging and supporting local artists. I want to get back into the theatre. Fregoli have had a lot of online Zoom rehearsals and meetups and they're great you can see people's faces very clearly but sometimes there's a glitch in the sound or a time delay and you don't get that in the auditorium uh, you mightn't be able to see the people's faces but you can certainly hear those people and you also can feel their mood and their emotions a lot a lot more because they are there with you they're in the room you can hear and feel those laughs, those cries, those sighs, grimaces, gasps, because it's in the moment. It's live, it's lightning in a bottle, it's magic. So get me back into the theater because that's where it's at. Um, my hopes after this, uh, you know, that it's, that's, a, that's a very big question. And I guess it's, uh, that, that people will will embrace theatre again, that the value of art and live art and, and sharing a space and sharing a story will be, will be truly felt, that the next time we can be together and either perform or watch a performance and share that space, uh, I think it's going to be a, a really emotional time to, to embrace the connection between people again and the connection between stories and images and visual and, and emotion and feeling and having all that in a space and, and just that we don't forget that and we don't forget that that's what theatre can do and that's what theatre can bring about and whether we are performing on our doorsteps for an audience of one or in massive arenas you know I, I really just hope that as a society we, we hold on to the value of theatre um, yeah, that that's that's really the, the, the big the big hope and I, I think it, it can be a reality. And it never ever fails to be exciting and exhilarating when you put work in front of an audience, even an audience of one or two, uh, you know, which we've all faced uh, in, in different parts of our, our career. And um, it's it's about that connection.